In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the add-on Flubru to grade a Google Form quiz for you. I've already gone ahead and collected my data from my students using a Google Form, and I now need to um, install the add-on. So in my spreadsheet, I'm going to go, I'm going to, go to Add-ons and Get Add-ons. And I can either do a search for Flubaroo or I can look through the gallery here to find it. And we'll go ahead and do a search for Flubaroo. And um, if you can read more about it, there's a little video that shows you how it works and some information on it. We're going to go ahead and add it, so we'll click free. Uh, Flubaroo needs to have access to the following information in your drive, and that's okay, so we'll go ahead and click accept. Now you'll only need to do this one time. From now on, when you want to use the Flubaroo script, you'll go to the add-ons menu and it will be listed there. And right here it's telling you that once you've collected your student submissions, you'll choose grade assignment from the Flubaroo menu. So we'll go ahead and close that and we'll look here and we'll see in add-ons, now we have this Flubaroo. And every time we create a spreadsheet, this Flubaroo add-on will be available. So now we'll go ahead and run through the steps to um, use Flubaroo to grade this quiz for us. So we'll go to the add-ons menu and we'll select Flubaroo. And we can see that we have some different choices. The first thing we'll need to do is grade the assignment. And Flubaroo will start working and it will ask you a series of questions that you'll need to answer in order to grade the assignment. The first thing that we'll need to do is select the grading option for each of the questions in the assignment. Flubaroo goes through and it looks at your columns and tries to determine which might be a question and which might be um, identifying a student and then it assigns points based on that information. So here we can see that the username is identifying the student. You also have the option to assign it points or skip grading but Flubaroo guessed correctly that this is identifying the student. And then each of our three questions are going to be worth one point. We can make them worth anywhere from zero points, which if we include skip grading, we'll do that, or up to five points. We want each of our questions to be worth one point. We'll click Continue. The next step asks you to select which submission should be used as the answer key. So when you're going to use Flubaroo to grade a quiz, the first thing that you want to do before you um, add the Flubaroo is to actually take the quiz yourself using your email account and that one will become the answer key. Now obviously when you take the quiz yourself you want to pick the correct answers so that you can use your entry as the answer key. And so we're going to look for our test teacher account, that's the one that we want to use as the answer answer key, so we'll go ahead and select that one, and we'll click Continue. And Flubaroo will start to work. You'll see some work behind the scenes. It's grading your assignment. Depending on how long your quiz was and how many students you have, it may take a little bit longer than this one did. Uh, but the grading has been complete. You have a new worksheet now contained in your spreadsheet um, that has the grades on it. And we'll go ahead and take a look at that, so we'll click View Grades. So again, here are the uh, student submissions. These are your answers that each of your students gave to the questions. And then here are the grades. And so it gives us a nice summary up here at the top. We um, can see highlighted um, in red students who uh, scored low. We also have questions identified where the score was very low. So it's a really nice visual representation um, of this information. Now this is great feedback for you, but we also need to share this feedback with students, and Flubaroo makes that very simple as well. So if we go back to the add-ons menu in Flubaroo, we can see that we have the option to email the grades. So if we go ahead and click that, it will start working through the process to email these students their grades. So again, you're just going to fill out and answer some questions. The email address question is the username. That's the innate question that contains the student's email address. You can include a list of the questions and the scores. You can also choose to include the answer key so students will know the right or wrong answers. And you can include an optional message. For example, maybe you want to give a retake on this particular quiz. You can note that in this area and then that uh, message will go to your students. So we'll go ahead and click continue there. Flubaroo will do its work and we'll soon see that three grades were successfully emailed. We'll click OK and we'll notice that we have an X now in each of the columns where the grade was emailed. 
I have switched over to a student account so that we can see what the student email looks like. So here is the grade that was sent out by Flubaroo, so we'll go ahead and open up that email. They're notified right at the top of the email how many points they received, and then they can also see uh, the questions and the answers, what they answered. They don't see the right answer because we didn't choose that option um, when we sent the email. They see what they answered, um, and it tells them if it's correct or incorrect. So again, this is some really nice feedback that you can share with your students. Now, if for any reason you should need to regrade this assignment, Flubaroo has got that covered as well. I've switched back to the teacher account again. If you go to the add-ons menu in Flubaroo, you see that you have an option to regrade this assignment. So if you have a student who wasn't present when you gave the assignment, um, Flubaroo can go back and regrade assignments for those students who missed. So Flubaroo is a really nice tool that can easily share feedback from Google Form quizzes with your students.